very average Sakai Sankey male. It's a pretty average Dainichi Benny Goy. <laughs> One of last year's folks. Wow. Right, so here's one for you today. Just to show you that in my head, this isn't all just plain sailing. I, like most of you, could do with more ponds, you know, in order to do the things I want to do, achieve what I want to achieve. This pond here behind me has messed around my head all year. So I initially planned to put in 25 pieces of my best, some of my best nissage from last year to grow through to Sanzai from probably a couple of hundred fish. Not easy at all. In the end, I couldn't whittle it down to any less than 50. There's too many fish I wanted to see progress, come on, develop. Uh, to be honest, there's a few went out since then and a few more gone in and I think it stayed around the 50 mark. And it's been a bit of a nuisance. Uh, just can't ever seem to get it exactly where I want it or whittle it down any, so. They've come on, the fish have been coming on, the pond's been, we've had a few drum issues throughout, which has kind of messed around with it, but now it's at a point where they've had a nice little run, there's really, really starting to come on, but I just need some more time. I will allow the growing season to extend over winter, uh, but yeah, as I'm looking at them now, I'm going to try and get a few more out, maybe a few that aren't quite going where I want them, but this ain't going to be easy. Uh, yeah, I do my own head in at times, to be honest with you, but it's just wanting to see what they can do. Again, raising that fish, what, see what I can keep doing with them. Some of them raised from such small tosa, you know, just following that journey, it's so, so nice to see. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see anyway, I'm going to net it up, I'm not going to faff around too much because they're big, valuable fish. Uh, mix of male and female, we've got the likes of Omasako stuff in here, Oya Asagi, Dainichi fish, the Shinoda Hiltsoris, Issa Showa, NND, DK Shiro's, there's just all kinds of stuff, but it's phenomenal. Water's a bit of a mess, actually got a drum filter issue still, the screens have all gone on it now, so waiting for new ones to arrive from them, so it can start clearing up, which again has hampered it, because I've not been able to get the feeding level up as high. Uh, but yeah. Let's see, see what they're doing and see if I can actually manage to get less than two or three or more than two or three fish out of here. And then, uh, yeah, probably by spring we'll actually see the, the true end results when I've actually got a prolonged period of growth and, uh, and see what happens. But yeah, folks, honestly, <laughs> the challenges of koi keeping, eh? Well, I'm going to go and net it up now, see what I've got. So you can actually see here, look. Because of the water colour, you're not really getting the detail, you'll get that, believe me, when they come up, but there is some insane fish. But as you can also see, it's just too full. The stocking level for the pond is perfectly alright, nothing, nothing wrong with that. It's the amount I need to feed to raise this side through to Sansai and actually get that body level that I expect to see in them, you know, so they're kind of Japanese standard. Yeah, can't wait to uh, to get this net through. Honestly folks, I think holy shit is all I've got to say here. Main man's come out of office to join me as well. What do you reckon Chris? Uh, pretty average, yeah. guys. So this is me not being happy with the results thus far. Holy shit. Wow. It's <laughs> a pretty average Dainichi Benny Goy. Wow, we just look at this. Get out of your side, Chris. Holy shit. <laughs> One of last year's folks. Wow. Wow. 
That is a NMD DK Shiro. Some of you might remember that. I bought that as a tow site out of the auction. Very average Sakai Sankey male. My days. Oh, it's Sako male Shiro. Wow. So having seen this, just imagine if I had actually managed to get it at the 25 fish. I tried, honestly, I tried my hardest. Would have been uh, pretty insane results right now. Oh yeah, I remember this was at some in Rinshaw and there was typical Asagi. There we go. So what did you think to them? I have managed in that net to eliminate 11 pieces. I just thought I got it at 13, but I've uh, <laughs> gone back on two. So, and yeah, I'll flip you the camera around and you can see even the quality level of what's coming out. There's the odd couple of bits here, split fins that are just gonna need too long to recover. Therefore, a commercial decision has to come in and we'll go, look, we'll sell that off now, cheaper than we'd expect, uh, and let somebody else do that work. Uh, a bit of a body crash, Shiro, which happens. And uh, yeah, you just got to be picky, ain't you? But believe it or not, those 11 mouths coming out, that's 11 big fish. That he up sorry in the previous clips you've seen, that absolute insane thing we pulled up. I mean, that's like 62 cm. So, you know, there's some big mouths, so there'll be a huge difference. I've not even got to change the feeding level, there'll just be more fish to go around, as you can tell from that. So, yeah, when I flipped this round, the heel saw in there, by the way, I wasn't rejecting. It has been sold to a customer, so we're getting that out and preparing that for sale. But dreamy stuff, well happy. I'm very surprised, actually, at what they've done, given this pond, I've not been happy with it most of the year. Uh, but still, you know, the bio's performed. We've been on with the food. The food always does its bit for us, you know, with a Saki Akari, love that stuff. And yeah, I say we'll push it on, but I'm, I'm expecting now from what I've seen, I think I can take these 32 fish into the realms of anything. We were some smaller, so I think we'll be from 55 to 65 cm Sanzai. And that's always in my head. If I use like NND as a benchmark, a really good farm, they'll mud pond raid Sanzai to 65 cm with really good body. So if I'm in them realms, I'm happy. Well, you know, there's other farms where they're still raising Sanzai at 55 cm on average, so to think we're doing all that in a three and a half K pond that's not performed. I think it goes to sell just how well, when you've got the heat and you feed them properly, uh, just how well you can do. Then you add all them other increments on top when you do get the performance of the pond and you just elevate from there. So yeah, there we go. Let me flip you this round and then we'll, uh, we'll sign off there with that one. Yeah, look here folks. So that's the Shinoda heel story. It's an absolutely insane piece. That is the shower uh, there, only coming out. It's just not bodying up the same as the others. It is a male fish. Omasako shower. Uh, the Benny boys are actually coming out just because Chris was badgering me, saying he can sell them. So, uh, seemed an obvious choice. Again, not quite keeping pace with the other stuff in there. Superb is the shower there, look. Absolutely insane skin quality level. Again, the body's just not quite doing what the other fish are doing. So, and this is Sargi. So, because there's one scale imperfection there, just look at that there and the caro gin on it. Mega stuff. You see the stuff back in the pond. Get that filled back up now. And yeah, there we go. That's all from me for now with that one.